fatta e a tutti i ciurma e benvenuti ragazzi che in questo nuovissimo episodio su Life is Strange 2 Vediamo ragazzi se riusciamo a raggiungere almeno i 30 like per questo nuovo video Ed eccoci qua di ritorno Dopo che la volta scorsa ragazzi a fine video ci siamo tipo stracagati addosso Per lo meno io mi sono quasi stracagata addosso Perché Daniel si è mostrato abbastanza irritato E ci ha quindi dimostrato la potenza attuale del suo potere ragazzi Che sembra essere tipo immensa Per cui cioè mi viene un po' il dubbio a questo punto a farlo arrabbiare cioè non so che pensare ragazzi tipo alcuni di voi hanno detto Dio Daniel è diventato insopportabile non lo sopporto effettivamente attualmente è, è, è abbastanza antipatico cioè un personaggio abbastanza antipatico evidentemente sta vivendo un'età difficile e questo lo rende antipatico poi sta prendendo punti di riferimento sbagliati secondo me questa esperienza in questa piantagione ragazzi secondo me lo sta segnando negativamente non so che dire ragazzi Raga, veramente direi di andare a continuare secondo me prima o dopo succederà qualcosa di spiacevole ragazzi perché Daniel è troppo piccolo per capire gli avvertimenti di Sean riguardo il suo potere ho un brutto presentimento sinceramente la volta scorsa eravamo rientrati praticamente dal lavoro diciamo così ho un brutto presentimento sinceramente hai chips left? dude you scarfed the whole fucking bag ho un altro hit Yeah, yeah. I packed a fat bow. Good piece of the puzzle. You're getting tired, babe. You shouldn't have made a long death to leg ducks. I took both roads everywhere. Whoa. You see that shit? It's a fucking UFO. I'm serious, man. Look. <laughs> They're finally coming to take you back! Tira della rietta fra sti due. Tripped on a few words, but y'all are baked, so I'm good. <laughs> good job, sis. So beautiful. Damn. Why you ain't rich and famous? I mean, you can hook us up. Oh. Tira una rietta per si due, ragazzi. Che cavolo, datemi un attimo. Cash or grass. Volevo dire, amo la tua voce, dai. Sto facendo una constatazione, che palle. No, grazie. Ehi, che devi fare tu? No fucking way. Jeez. Stai scherzando? I was just joking. Ha ha, you better be. That is all for us. We must sleep. Ah, there go the party animals. What is it? Like 10 o'clock? No worry, Finn. We'll party like rock stars tomorrow for our last night. Come on, one more round. Gonna Sleep act. tight. Jeez, I swear every time you play that song, Cass, I see my poor black flag. Oh, man. I'm sorry. No, di fumare non se ne parla, ragazzi. Who's my dog back in Colorado until last year? Yeah, something like that. A year ago, we were hopping a train, just me, Finn, and Cass. Mm. Black flag. We got caught stealing some shit in some random town. Motherfuckers called the cops on us. Had to run for it. We saw that train from afar mm. and went straight at it. Cops right behind us. We barely made it. But nobody's able to get black flag. Jesus. Uh, yeah, I see him chasing after the train. Out. Yapping at me. But I left him there. That's it. <laughs> I hope the cops picked him up. Got him a better home. I think about that damn dog every day. Daniel, che fai? I used to black flag. Oh. A bandiera nera. Non dispiace. Sorry about your pup, Hannah. Non parliamo di funghetto, ragazzi, perché meglio di no. 
Jeez. Sorry, I ruined the mood. Don't no. worry, hands. We can do worse. Let's hear everybody's <laughs> worst memory. Fair and square. Are you serious? Why the fuck not? We all need to say our piece once in a while. Who's up? Penny? Cool. Let's stop the violins. Check this out. Say hello to my little friend. Jinx. Met him dumpster diving in New Mexico. It was cool. The boy had issues. Mood swings, delirious, self-harm, fun shit like that. He seemed to get better with me. I think I loved him. He gave me this coin. Said he never gave his trust to no one before. We used to come here every now and then. Hook up on cash. But he disappeared. A few miles north from here. In a pot farm just like this one. He went out one night high as fuck. And zoomed. That was the last time I saw him. Now I gotta hold on to this fucking penny just in case. Wow. Wasn't there like an investigation? Something? Fuck no. He didn't have no ID, no nothing. Cops don't give a fuck about us. I looked for him for a while, but I couldn't track him down. That sucks, brother. Shit like that happens around here. Plus. The guy needed medication. Sure did. I just hope he's okay. Maybe I'll run into his crazy ass someday. Who knows? It's a small world. You kill yourself. I hand him back the trust that he gave me. All right. Bad vibes indeed. <laughs> and we do worse. Uh, Jake? Please? Well. Just don't laugh. I guess my worst memory is when I lost my faith. Yeah, you mentioned it. What happened? I used to be a sheep. A true yeah. believer. Oh. I was raised in Haven Point, Nevada. Small community. We have this amazing reverend. People line up to listen to her. She's intense. But for some reason, things happened to me and I started doubting myself. It kind of escalated. People said I was trouble. I couldn't get the answers I was looking for. Even from my own folks. I know the feeling. I felt so lost. Wasn't sure what to believe anymore. So I left. I just needed to be alone for a while, you know? Find the truth by myself. I'm still looking for it. Jacob, my son, maybe we are the truth you were looking for. I'm glad I found you guys. I don't know if I'll ever go back there. Not until I get a signal from God, at least. I hope you can. Bet your family misses you a lot. I miss them too. Just not the other stuff. You probably did the right thing. I. Hope you find the space and answers you need. Thank you, Sean. What about you, Cassidy? Mm -hmm. Your turn. Uh, uh, uh. Pass. I already sang a song. <laughs> Figures. What about you, Sean? You obviously mm. don't have to talk about that shit show back in Seattle. But if you have something else. No, nope, nothing beats it. How about me? You're the man I was waiting for. It's not only one bad memory, but they're all about my friends. I feel like I've let everyone down, like Noah and Lila from Seattle, and our doggy mushroom was killed and taken away by a puma. Then I lost Chris because we had to run away again. I'm not sure I'll ever hear from him again. I just left him all alone. But more than anything, I miss my best friend, my dad. Jesus, little man, that's hard. I'm so sorry, Daniel. I told you I'd win. 
You didn't let anybody down. Life did. Yeah. Life is a bitch. We can only go with the flow. Like a river. Yeah, that's why I'm not dragging around any bad memories. Come on. Bull fucking Oh, shit, you started this man. shit, bitch. <laughs> Don't punk out now. Uh -huh. yeah, listen, smart asses. I'm just saying you can't change the past. So you just gotta focus on what's next. Memories are just lessons for the future. The future, huh? What's your big plan, Prophet? Wanna know what my plan is? Picture this. A kick-ass beach house in Costa Rica. Sunshine, feet in the sand, sweet ocean view. We'd be one big, fucked up, happy, dysfunctional family. We just chill and, and sing and drink cocktails out of coconuts. Only thing we need is a little cash along the way. And then, boom. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. That's your dream? Beach house and coconuts? <laughs> oh, uh, too boring for you? This sounds like my folks' retirement plan to Florida. I don't need anything else than what we already have. Sure, we're working our asses right now, but we can beat it if we want. I'm not gonna settle down. No way. That's how shit starts, you know? When you start having things of your own, things you ought to defend, property, land, family. What do you think you're missing out on now? Um, coconut cocktails? Well, agree to disagree, fucker. Man, I'm too high for your shit. It's time to crash. And Penny goes down. Peace out, brother. Night, night. Looks like we still have some booze left. Who's in? <laughs> oh, twist my arm. A teeny tiny drink. And we need to talk about Sean's hippie hair. <laughs> Boy needs a real haircut. Oh, hell yes he does. <laughs> now it's your turn to get a trim. Karma. I'll call it a day too. Night, everyone. Hey, I'm wiped out. Are you ready for bed yet? Oh. Sì, vado a dormire con lui ragazzi, cioè ci stavo pensando già comunque che dobbiamo andare a dormire, ecco. <laughs> Chiamatemi vecchia, ma è così. Yep, I'm ready to crash too. Let's go. What? No, you're gonna miss our makeover skills. I'll fall asleep and then you'll turn my ear off. <laughs> oh, get out of here. Good night, Finn. Night, night, Great kid. Drink. See you in the morning. You didn't have to come with me, you know? I know. Hey, can we talk about what happened on the lake? Yeah. Eh, vedi, allora, se adesso dico è troppo rischioso, magari si incavola. Se dico è stato incredibile, magari lo incoraggio. Non so che fare. Forse la via di mezzo, quindi non sei più un bambino, eh? It kind of bummed me out when you said that you weren't a kid anymore. I mean, I know you're not, but I'm gonna miss it. I can't help it, Sean. Things are so different now. I miss my friends, my room, my play box, everything. It all seems so far away now. I know I'm not always nice with you, but things aren't nice anymore. I know. But don't let this change who you are. I just wish I could have a normal life again and stop being so angry all the time. Hey, I'm sorry about your bad memory. Thanks. Non sei solo, però. You're not alone. And you still have friends out there who care. Bet they think about you every day. You could. Make a call to Chris. 
once we're out of here. I just miss them all. Noah, Lila, Mushroom, even Grandma and Grandpa. I'm just so tired of all this crap. I feel the same way, dude. It's okay. Just don't feed the beast, you know? Yeah. You know, I still like it, but it's kind of tight on me now. Yeah, you're too big for it. I am, but I would like to hear about the Wolf Brothers, if that's okay. Just oh. don't tell the others, okay? Promise. All right, get comfy. Where were we? Oh. Yeah. The Wolf Brothers joined a pack of hounds that roamed all over. Finally, the brothers had found new friends. But the little wolf wasn't so sure about the new pack. He didn't want his brother to run away with them. And so the little wolf would howl and prowl, not knowing what was going on. But he didn't know that nothing could ever separate the Wolf Brothers from each other. Ever. Ah, mannaggia, mannaggia la miseria. È tutto troppo tranquillo, ragazzi. È arrivato Big Joe. Oh merda, non ci siamo ancora alzati. Oh, dai, Sean, dai. Caspita. Sveglia. No. Eh, no. Ok, mi sa che è iniziato un altro brano coperto da copyright. Si porta presso il cane anche. Cioè alla fin fine ragazzi vedete anche il dialogo che hanno avuto fra di loro eh, la sera eccetera. Cioè questo dimostra che in fin dei conti magari appunto non sono cattive persone. Cioè magari le circostanze della vita li hanno portati a ritrovarsi in questa condizione, eh, però ciò non significa appunto che siano cattive persone, anzi. E chi c'è qua? Beh, niente di che, insomma, un'altra giornata di lavoro. E che, cioè, questo episodio sta continuando a lasciarmi un po' titubante. Nel senso che l'inizio è stato super motion. Poi c'è stato sto picco di 
ansia con la situazione okay. dello scorso episodio e adesso di nuovo So everybody tell me how you're gonna blow your next payday The usual save it till the next one <laughs> Well ain't we all stingy now yeah, Oh How about Sto a cake offering for your family or or some hookers or cocaine Oh please sì. There's a child here mm. I think he's heard worse Besides, he's our mascot now. Oh, I want to buy a bacon burger and a pepperoni pizza. Then a box of Choco Chris and, and a red slushie. Oh, hell yes. S screw the hookers. Bring on the Choco Chris. <laughs> Come on, Sean. You got to treat yourself after all this hard work. Mi metterò tutti da parte. Seriously, we have to save every dime, so... Hookers will wait. <laughs> Trust me, they will. So that's it, huh? You bust your ass all week for nothing? Some of us just got simple needs, princess. Yeah, like your beach house in Costa Rica? Ah, li okay. li Let's get this over with. Finn, Cassidy, Sean, and uh, you. Jake. Jake, Jacob. Daniel, dude, do you have to do this every week? Adults only. Oh, whatever. I work too. Yes, I know, but we have to keep a low profile. Got it? For the millionth time. Just wait here for a few minutes and don't do anything. Nothing. I won't. I swear. Okay, we'll be right back. Spero non faccia niente di stupido. For once you're all on time, let's see who wins that farm lotto. Jacob, right? I thought you wouldn't last a day, but you cleaned up. You're all right. Thank you. Thanks. Cassidy, your trims were pretty weak. And Big Joe told me you've been whining a lot. <sighs> Bet he did. Look, you can bitch all you want as long as you work. Otherwise, you're just taking up space. So get it together. I know, Meryl. Now for Sean. Very nice trims. Good work, kid. Finn, you saved the pots in the greenhouse. And our asses. That's why you keep coming back. You know it, boss. Uh, how about a raise? <laughs> uh -oh. <clears throat> yeah. Sorry. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for. Get in here, you little asshole! What the fuck? <laughs> Don't touch me, jerk! Don't move! Now explain! That sneaky fucker! He was snooping around your living room! So I people. wasn't! I was so just so so came in! Uh, shut up, Daniel! Seriously! Let Shh. him go! I told you. Come on, Meryl! He's a kid, not a thief! You wanna frisk him? <sighs> Look at him! He's just following his big brother! Your brother needs a lesson. You all need a lesson. So first off, no payday. Yeah, oh, cool. Fuck that, Boss, no way. Uh, don't do that to us. We earned that money. Sean, you and your brother are, are fired. What? And don't come back or Big Joe will take care of your ass. Please, Meryl. That's bullshit, man. Man, I, I know you're pissed, but Sean is a good worker. Never brought you any losers, right? Sir, quiet! Shut the fuck up. Sean, I warned you one too many times. We tried your way, now it's my turn. Okay, Joseph, just teach him a lesson. Let me 
Bella Morosa. Come on, man. Big Joe, what are you gonna do? He's just a little fucking kid. This ain't your business. Think I like it? It's mine. <laughs> Okay, okay, who did that? Da. Who did that? Uh, I did. My fault. Uh, look! Lo sapevo! Bravo, Daniel! Complimenti, sei proprio il ragazzino più stupido dell'anno, complimenti, te lo sei guadagnato a pieno questo titolo, a pieno, farti fattacci tuoi no, eh, cioè stai seduto no. Ecco, mo lo sanno tutti. Well, that's it, believe it or not. I told you it would sound crazy. Fuck. That's mental. Exactly. I knew something was up with you guys. Damn. I would be scared shitless. Ok ragazzi, uh, per oggi uh, purtroppo non ho più tempo per registrare, però insomma ci è bastato per uh, vedere che Daniel come sempre non è stato capace di tenere le chiappe a posto e quindi a quanto pare siamo stati licenziati e non ci verrà pagato il mese, per cui tutto a posto Daniel. Grazie, grazie davvero. Che dire raga, questo video termina qui, grazie a tutti, un bacione e un bacio a tutti ragazzi. Ciao! Vi ricordo ragazzi che se volete costanti aggiornamenti sul canale potete trovare tutti i link dei miei social in descrizione e anche il link per farmi delle donazioni. Ciao!